Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we're adding another healthier energy drink to the series. For today's healthier energy drink, it's not your typical energy drink. It's called Sparkling Ice Plus Caffeine. It's from the makers of Sparkling Ice, if you couldn't guess, and they decided they're gonna be jumping into the caffeinated beverage market with this beverage. And I'm excited to try it out with you guys today, coming right up. Hey again everybody, thanks for joining me today. If it's your first time here, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. And for those of you who have been here before, you may not have noticed, but I've started to add to the description box some timestamps for you guys. With 12 to 15 minute long videos, not everyone wants to hear me blab on and on and on about the company. They just want to get right to the taste test. And then there are those of you that care about the extra information, such as the nutritional facts, as well as the taste test. So for those of you who are too lazy to watch the whole video, feel free to check out my description box and go wherever you want to go. I I won't be offended, that's why I put them there for you guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the company, then I'll go over the ingredients that make this drink a healthier energy drink, and then in closing, I'll taste test all five flavors that they have. The five flavors are blue raspberry, black raspberry, triple citrus, strawberry citrus, and orange passion fruit. Sparkling Ice is owned by a company called Talking Rain Beverage Company. Talking Rain began in 1987 with two sparkling waters. In 1992, the company began production of Sparkling Ice. Sparkling Ice was basically just flavored sparkling water. Then in 1997, the company decided to change over its sweetener to sucralose, becoming the first U.S. beverage company to do so. Then in 2014, Kevin Durant, a famous basketball player, signed an endorsement deal with Sparkling Ice. And then things really began to take off for the company and they were recognized in Inc. 5000. Additionally, at that time, with the rise of healthier drinks being on the market, this flavored sparkling water was now being compared as a healthy alternative to drinking soda. And in October of 2018, not too long ago, they released their Sparkling Ice Plus Caffeine flavor line. The original Sparkling Ice beverage line are made of zero sugar combined with sparkling water, real fruit flavor, vitamins, and antioxidants to offer a lightly carbonated beverage. They have over 17 different flavors in their regular line, and now they just added five slightly different flavors to their line with the caffeine. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, you mentioned real fruit. If there's real fruit flavor in there, isn't there some sugar? But Sparkling Ice only has 1% juice in their beverages. Therefore, it only contains trace amounts of sugar, which by FDA standards is insignificant. Luckily for all of you guys, you don't need to worry about it because the Sparkling Ice Plus Caffeine doesn't have any fruit juices, therefore no sugar. They use sucralose instead. These drinks are also kosher and gluten-free, but they're not vegan. The reason being, there's a small amount of lanolin in the vitamin blend, and lanolin is a byproduct of shared wool. So, are these actually energy drinks? Well, the definition of energy can be quite complex, and I'm no scientist, but there are those that say caffeine gives you energy. Therefore, any kind of beverage with caffeine in it is an energy drink. But there are also those that argue caffeine doesn't give you energy, caffeine helps produce energy, which is a very fine line, really. Therefore, they say that if energy drinks don't have all the other ingredients to help boost your energy, if it just has caffeine, it's not an energy drink. But you know what I say to that? I say, what's my name? Is my name Energy Drink Man? No, it's Caffeine Man. These drinks have caffeine, so I'm going over them. All the rest you can take your energy drink debate someplace else. So what's the Nutrition Facts panel have to say about this? Let's take a look. Zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein. So far, so good. On to the vitamins. This has 10% of your daily value of vitamin A, and it also has 10% of vitamin D. It also has 10% of niacin. Then when you take a look at the B6, it also has 10% B6. But when you look at the B12, it also has 10% of vitamin B12. And in keeping in line with all their other numbers, the biotin and panthenic acid also have 10% each. So yes, this is an energy drink because it has all those other energy drink properties in it. But if you know anything about energy drinks, you'll know that all those numbers are fairly low. But at least it'll shut up all those energy drink arguments. Oh, it's sparkling water with caffeine. No, 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 it's got all that other stuff in it. Therefore, it's an energy drink. Might just be a little bit of the stuff, but it's still an energy drink. As for the caffeine, let's get right into it. This 16 ounce can has 70 milligrams of caffeine. 70? Yeah, only 70. Now for those caffeine lovers like me, you might be a little saddened by that. But you gotta take in consideration that there are a lot of people out there that can't handle their caffeine like us. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are looking for healthier energy drinks, but they don't wanna go too crazy like some companies do. 
With 300 milligrams of caffeine, that's a lot. BCAAs, CoQ10, do they really need that if they're not gonna be working out? Or even if they're just gonna be doing a light workout? A lot of people don't need all the extra stuff that's in here. There are other energy drinks out there that have just a little bit of what you need. And sometimes more isn't better. So if you look at something that's lightly caffeinated and has vitamins in it, sparkling ice plus caffeine might be for you. Because there are definitely people, some people that are sensitive to caffeine. Some of us can take 300 milligrams of caffeine and function fine with it. Most people take 300 milligrams of caffeine and they get a good boost from it. And there are also some people that if they had 300 milligrams of caffeine at noon, they still wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Therefore, people that are sensitive to caffeine but still like to have a little bit of caffeine to keep them going can have this beverage. This beverage comes in at just slightly four milligrams per ounce, making it the lowest amount of caffeine out of all the energy drinks, for those of you who consider it an energy drink. And with those numbers, it actually fits in much closer to where soda averages for caffeine content. So let's jump right into this taste test. First, let's start off with the black raspberry. Wow, that's actually pretty good. As many of you may know if you watch my previous videos, I'm not a fan of sparkling water and I'm not really a fan of sparkling beverages, but there have been several that have surprised me. This one is one of the ones that's surprising me. I can't taste any sparkling water flavor, but I can definitely taste the black raspberry. Now it's not an overly powerful black raspberry flavor, but it's got a decent amount of black raspberry flavor and the sweetness is just enough with the sucralose. If I didn't know that this was sparkling water, I probably wouldn't guess that it was sparkling water. I would think it's more like a diet soda. So great job competing with the sodas for diet soda. This is a great healthy energy drink that doesn't taste healthy. <laughs> I like things that are healthy that don't taste healthy, if that makes sense. You guys know what I mean by healthy taste, right? All right, next up we got the blue raspberry. Oh wow, that was actually pretty good too. It's definitely different than the black raspberry. It's a bit sweeter than the black raspberry and it's got a taste of blueberry to it too, which I'm guessing is why they call it blue raspberry. I wasn't expecting the blueberry and I like blueberry, so that's a bonus for me. Like I said, it's a little bit sweeter than the black raspberry, but it's not overly sweet. It's definitely not like bang or rain for the sweetness, but it's got a good sweetness to it and it definitely tastes like a blue raspberry. I'm so glad I decided to do this review. I randomly saw them at the store and said, oh, sparkling ice. My wife likes those drinks. I had tried them once and thought they were pretty good. I actually thought it was diet soda. And she said, no, it's flavored sparkling water. So I was at the convenience store. They said, oh, look, caffeinated sparkling ice. Let me try it and pick it up. I'm glad I did. These are good. Next on to the strawberry citrus. I like strawberry, not a huge fan of citrus. So let's see how it goes. It's interesting. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I was expecting it to be hit with a strong, sweet strawberry flavor based on the blue raspberry, but it's not too sweet and the strawberry is kind of light. As for the citrus flavor, it's got a hint of orange in there. It's also got a hint of lime in there. And I think the strawberry, the orange, and the lime are all around the same amount. So one's not overpowering the other, which is really interesting because you get a hint of strawberry, a hint of orange, a hint of lime, and nothing's really overpowering the other. And when you don't have anything overpowering the other, you don't end up having an aftertaste of any one of those flavors. They all blend together really well. It's still not my top choice. I'm going with blue raspberry first. And then this one probably ties for second with black raspberry, but still got two more to go. So let's try those out. Next up, let's try the triple citrus. So how's the triple citrus different than the strawberry citrus? If you look at the pictures on the can, the strawberry citrus has a picture of strawberry, orange, and lime. The triple citrus has a picture of an orange, a lime, and I think maybe a lemon. The color is very close to the orange though, but I'm guessing it's a lemon. But let's stop guessing and try it out. Oh yeah, that's definitely lemon. This is your classic lemon lime soda with a hint of orange to it. I would say it's similar to like a diet Sprite, but as we all know, soda is bad for you, so it's not. But the flavor is similar to a diet Sprite and this is super healthy. So pick this up over Sprite any day. These are really good. Caffeine Man's having a happy day. Or it could be because I'm drinking five energy drinks. Last on the list, orange passion fruit. 
Do I talk faster at the end of my videos? I feel like by the time I get to the last two, they go pretty fast. Try and slow it down a little bit. But I don't want the videos to be too long, so let's keep going. All right, orange passion fruit. The orange is the strongest out of all the citrus ones that I've had, and the passion fruit is a bit light, but it's still there. Personally, I'd like it to be just a touch sweeter, but that's just my preference. It's still lightly sweetened, and the strong orange flavor is a little bit too acidic for me, which is why I usually like the sweetness cut into that bite a little bit. As for passion fruit, I'm not a huge fan of passion fruit, but it's still light, so it's not bad. I definitely say try it for yourself if you like orange passion fruit, because for the other four, this tastes like it's pretty good. Even though I personally don't like passion fruit that much, it's still a good flavor, and based on the other four flavors, this is probably a really good orange passion fruit. So overall, I'm impressed with all five of those. These have the perfect amount of sweetness in it, and if you're looking for something that's similar to a soda beverage, but diet, without all the negativity of soda, you can try these out. They're really good. You can kind of tell their diet, because it's a sparkling beverage with sucralose, but out of the healthy energy drinks that I've reviewed so far, between Aspire, Celsius, Yerba Mate, and now Sparkling Ice. I'm a fan of the Sparkling Ice flavor the most. I'm not a fan of the lack of caffeine, but I like the flavors. And sometimes, I freely admit this, I don't want to have a 300 milligram beverage. Sometimes in the morning while I'm driving to work, I need that little bit of pick-me-up to get me to work. So why not have a 70 milligram caffeine drink to start your morning? It's almost the same amount as a cup of coffee. And there you have it, another healthy energy drink in the books. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love comments by most of you. Some of you, you know who you are. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't. I post new videos every Tuesday night and hope to see you there. Until next time, have a great day. Or night.